Hi, I'm Will. And I'm Molly. And this is Frankie. And this is our van. We have a 2019 Ford Transit uh, Extended and High Roof. And we built it out ourselves. So I've lived in a van since 2017. Uh, my first van was a Transit Connect. After a while, I met Molly and kind of introduced the van life to her. And it was a pretty immediate <laughs> no from Molly. Um, yeah, I thought for sure I would never live in a van by choice. Yeah, I dropped it, but like, I don't know, a month later, and you came to me and you're like, something about van life. <laughs> yeah, I started doing my own research, you know, <laughs> watching YouTube videos. Van life kind of intrigued me because I didn't know where I wanted to live. So I felt like this was a good opportunity to kind of explore areas I've never seen before. Yep. So. Spent maybe a month or so talking about it and then decided to pull the trigger. When we were building this van out, one of the things that I saw in some vans that I loved was the the slatted ceilings and my buddy suggested that we went with walnut it was a nice rich warm color and so we went out and bought um, raw pieces of walnut and we made our ceiling our table and our countertop all out of that walnut for Molly and I it was really important that we had a big kitchen area the foundation of our relationship was on cooking and so we wanted to make sure that even though we weren't living in a house, that could still be a big part of our day in and day out. We made this one giant piece and then we cut out the uh, inset for the sink so that we could have a full countertop, but then also have our sink in here as well. Here we are in the slider door at the end of our walnut countertop. We have our stove. As Will mentioned, we love cooking. We use it every day. Will makes his coffee on here, dinners. We love veggie bowls, so we're sauteing veggies all the time. I love making banana bread, so the oven comes in handy. And um, it's just a, a feature that we really love. So just behind the driver's seat, we have our hanging closet and our fridge. Um, it's really important for us to have this tall storage space in the front of the van. That way we can keep the kitchen and the bed area as open as possible. Um, so in here we can store all of our jackets. Um, we have a mirror and all my jewelry. Below is our mini fridge. It's been really great. It has a little freezer as well, so we always have ice. Um, but it's been a perfect size for us. And the fridge is about a week's worth of storage. And then all the way down below we have our shoe storage. I'm Nate Murphy, author of the Van Conversion Guide, and I just want to let you know that I'm running a free online training which will teach you how to make van life free or profitable. I will show you how to choose a van and build it out and avoid the one big mistake that most people make. I will show you how I made van life completely free and a bunch of other stuff that people don't really talk about. If you'd like to join, click the link here or in the description and I'll see you there. We went with the deepest um, countertop and table we could just to give us enough space while we're using those spaces, but that uh, narrowed up our hallway quite a bit and we have a huge under sink area that we couldn't have sliding doors. So I very quickly learned how to make sliding doors and it has been awesome having that. Um, you can see our Trillino toilet down under here and under here is just chemical storage which is where our propane tank and stuff is like that. But as you can see, it allows for us to have full access without having to maneuver around doors. Um, the benefit to the way that we did this was that they very easily come right off. So up here we have one large box um, that is our overhead cabinet with all of our food storage. We got a couple of these like um, kind of cheap racks from you know wherever and it allowed us to have more space so things aren't just piled on top of each other although things are still piled on top of each other. Yeah we also have a fruit basket um, we really liked having this, uh, you know, we can hang bananas and our, you know, whatever the fruit down here, it just gives us a good space for it that isn't, you know, hidden away in a box or up here being smashed. For the kitchen area, we went with a dinette. Um, we wanted to be able to accompany our cooking with a place to eat and sit and talk to each other. It's also um, a workspace for us and um, you know it's nice to have a nice desk to sit at. We also intentionally bought a passenger van that was the number one criteria for us. We wanted to have this dinette next to our window so we could look out and enjoy the beautiful view like we have here. But uh, you know this is kind of a traditional RV setup where your table actually drops down and now we have a big couch. So. It's also great for Molly and I to drop this down and sit here. We can sit and watch TV in a couch situation. Um, we can also drop it for my niece who's six, who loves to spend the night in our van. So below this seat 
is um, what we call our pantry. And we basically have two drawers, one for taller stuff and one for shorter stuff. And uh, this is a, a later and new addition, but has been by far our favorite addition to the van. So the process for converting the dinette into the couch is pretty simple. The table just lifts right up, the pole comes out, and the table just goes straight back down, and we just store the pole underneath the table. We just pull the pillows off of the uh, bed and make it up into a nice little couch. There we go. In this top drawer we use for kitchen uh, storage, so for cutlery and any extra kitchen supplies. Um, and then this bottom drawer is just extra clothing storage for myself. Um, and then this basket we have at the bottom, we have Frankie's food and dirty laundry. So for the bed we have a standard queen size bed. It is slightly raised, but that al allows us to have extra storage space in the garage area, which we really love. And then it's also not sitting up too high, so we have plenty of headspace we can easily set up in bed and have plenty of room above us. We also have windows in the front and the back here uh, that both pop open so it's nice getting that fresh air while we're laying in bed. We also have the windows in the very back. We have a bug net so we love being able to have the back doors open and get just extra fresh air into the van. So as Molly mentioned, uh, we have the Van Essentials uh, bug net in the back, and this has been essential. Um, this has allowed us to sleep with our doors open, and for instance, earlier this week we were parked at the beach, didn't move for four days, didn't close the deck doors for four days. Um, so that's great. The other thing that's nice about this is that the bottom half is uh, not a net, and it covers up our really messy garage. Our garage, like most people's, is a little bit messy, but we have everything we need in here. So um, we have our paddle board and all of our storage. We're filming this right now in Baja, and there are some stretches that are, you know, no gas for a while, so we had to make sure we have a little gas tank. And just, you know, other odds and ends in here as well. Uh, the other thing that we have is um, a 30-gallon water tank. We have a gravity fill here. We have a little outdoor set, uh, shower setup, and then we keep our uh, our hose nice and wrapped up here. On the other side here, we have 300 amp hours of uh, battery, full energy system. So we have the DC DC charger. We have the inverter charger as well. The wiring is not, uh, you know, isn't as clean as we'd like it to be, but it's all worked out pretty well so far. Uh, we also have 400 watts of solar up top. Our inlet for our shore power goes right here. So up top, we have uh, a little roof deck that we put together to uh, you know, mostly set up there for sunrises so far, but it's a nice space just to add you know another outdoor area for us. So we just got some deck from Home Depot and put you know a few holes in it and just attach it to our roof rack. Yeah, thanks for checking out our van. Uh, we've been in it for about a year and a half now and really enjoyed it. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Will and Molly. <laughs> yeah, safe travels. Thanks. If you didn't notice, I am offering a free online training which will help teach you how to make van life free or profitable. In this video, I will show you exactly how to buy a van, how to fit it out in a proper way, and teach you how to avoid the mistakes that most people make, and all the other stuff that almost nobody else talks about. If you are thinking about converting a van or living van life, it'll be one of the most valuable things you will ever watch. Just click the link, register for free, and I'll see you there. Another great place to start is to get the van conversion guide. It's packed with useful information and includes 20 video lessons to help you convert a van. Check our website, all the information is there.